Welcome to 5 Minutes in the Word, a daily devotional in the Word of God. You know, Logan, we have been dealing with a lot of questions, and one of the questions out there is, is can we fall from grace? And what the people mean by that is, you know, can we fall from a right relationship with God? Can we fall to a place where we're no longer saved? And so I think that the obvious answer is yes, yes we can, mm -hmm. but what happens when we fall uh, from the, uh, the grace of God? Well, it's important uh, in anything that we talk about that we look at what the Bible says. Uh, so if you have a Bible, let's look at Galatians chapter 5. And as you're turning there, uh, Paul's letter to the church at Galatia, uh, he emphasizes this point. Uh, starting in verse 1 of chapter 5, For freedom of Christ has set us free, and stand firm, therefore. Do not submit again to the yoke of slavery. Look, I, Paul, say to you that if you accept circumcision... Christ will be of no advantage to you. I testify again to every man who accepts circumcision that he is obligated to keep the whole law. And here's the here's the kicker here, Derek. If I can find my place again. You <laughs> were severed from Christ, who would be justified by the law. You have fallen away from grace. So now when we look at this uh, fourth verse here, uh, the word severed immediately jumps out to me. It does, yeah. Uh, and when I think of severed, I think of immediately a severed artery uh, in in our body. Uh, and obviously, there's damage there. There, There's damage because the artery's been severed. Absolutely. Uh, and if it's not dealt with, like if that damage is not dealt with, it could lead to death. It could. And uh, if we fix that issue, then the healing is brought forth, and it's brought forth quickly. And if you look at the conclusion of chapter 5, uh, you see some things that sever arteries in right. a spiritual sense. Spiritual sense. Okay. Uh, starting in uh, verse 18, you go down and it kind of mentions different things like enemies, strife, jealousy, things like that. But the chapter concludes with things that heal us quickly, which are the fruits of the Spirit. That's right. And you look at all that and you, and you go back and you see all of those, all those things that, you know, all the envy and all the drunkenness and all of the these evil things that people can participate in. These are the kind of type of activities that, you know, separate us from God, that sever mm -hmm. us from his good graces, that sever us from a relationship that was once saved uh, and that now is lost. And especially if we've come to the knowledge of God and we've been we've put him on baptism, we've we have severed uh, that salvation that we once mm -hmm. had and we need to be restored. And I find it amazing that here in Galatians five, he gives all these listings of all these things we're not to participate in, we're not to be like, and that's people that are in the world. That's also people that are in the church. You know, mm -hmm. the book of Galatians is written to Christians. And so it's people in the church. We are not to have these kind of things a part of us. We are to have the fruit of the Spirit. Those are the kind of things we're to walk in and we're to continue walking in. And that idea of continuing that walk, it, it leads to this idea, you know, if I can continue in the walk, that means I might stop. I might have been led to stop walking in uh, the walk. Mm -hmm. You know, and that kind of idea helps this drive home the point that we can fall from grace. Uh, it seems like you have another comment. I, I, what would you like to say about that? Yeah, when you talk about keeping in step uh, there in context of Galatians 5, immediately thinks of walking in the light. Right. And, um, in First John chapter 1, uh, verse 5, this is the message we have heard from him and proclaim to you that God is light and in him is no darkness. If we say we have fellowship with him, while we walk in darkness, we lie and do not practice the truth. Uh, so if we stay in the light, which is Christ, right. then we have not severed that artery that I've been talking about. That's right. And and I think something really important for us to understand, not only can we fall from grace, but others that are out there around us, our brothers and sisters in Christ, they too, they can fall from a right relationship with God. And that means that we have responsibility uh, to them, for mm -hmm. them, that we are to be the kind of people that are looking for people that are falling away, and we are to go to them. Galatians chapter 6, starting in verse 1, he starts off and he says, brothers. And he's he's trying to help us understand that, hey, pay attention here. We mm -hmm. have responsibility as Christians. He says, if anyone is caught in any transgression, you who are spiritual should restore him in a spirit of gentleness. Keep watching yourself, lest you too be tempted. And he goes on talking about bearing one another's uh, burdens and so fulfill the law of Christ. The reality is, is that we all sin. Yep. We all fall short. We all stumble. But we need to pay attention to that in our own lives 
and also in the lives of our brothers and sisters of Christ because we do not want to be severed from Christ. We were once lost in sin, and those who are in the church, we were once lost in sin. Now we've come to salvation, and we want to stay inside that saved place uh, mm -hmm. with God. And so I would encourage you all that if your life is not in the right place with God, make it so today. If that means you would like to set up a Bible study and study with one of us, or if you just need the prayers of the church to get your life uh, back on track with God, any way we can help at all, please let us know. Thank you for joining us for 5 Minutes in the Word, and we will see you all next time on another 5 Minutes in the Word. Bye, everybody. Bye.